So today I'm going to be doing a first impression review over a new drugstore brand that they started carrying at Walmart and it's called Koki Professional. I clearly uh, went a little crazy and I don't know, they just had so much cool stuff and I've never tried anything from this brand. Everything was very, very affordable. I want to say like the most expensive thing was like $15 and everything else was like under 10 so I think that's pretty good. Um, but I got enough stuff for a full face of first impressions and I just thought it would be fun to do and share with you guys if this new line is worth it or if some things are like new amazing products or some things you really need to avoid, you know, all that good stuff. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah, let's just get into it. All right, so first thing we gotta do is prime the skin and I picked up the Smooth Glow Hydrating Foundation Primer just because my skin is a little bit more dry, um, but they also do have a matte one. So it comes in a little squeezy tube, which I like. And it's just a white, it looks like it has maybe a little bit of iridescence to it. I always forget to pull my hair back. That's better. All right, here we go. Hmm. It feels good. It feels very like hydrating, I guess. And also a little smoothing, which I like. It smells pretty good too. It smells like roses. Alright, so so far with the primer, I like it. It reminds me a lot of the Too Faced Hangover RX one, where it's just kind of refreshing to the skin. But instead of smelling like coconut, it smells like roses, so that's good. Now moving on for foundation. They didn't have the actual liquid foundation at my Walmart. I guess they haven't gotten it in yet or something, because there was nothing there. Um, so instead, I just got their liquid cushion foundation. I will say it was kind of hard to pick out a shade, just because, you know, I feel like this color on the outside probably isn't like super, super accurate. So Jesus, take the wheel. Um, I got the color 30W and uh, comes with a little sponge. It's nice and sealed which I appreciate with like drugstore makeup. And this is what the color looks like. Actually I think that might be a pretty good match. So I'm just going to take the sponge that it comes with and press it into the product. You don't get too much off it which I don't know might not be a bad thing. Um, so yeah I'm just going to press it into the skin and see how it looks. sure how I feel about it sitting on the skin like I don't know yet all right so I'm gonna ditch this little guy because it's not actually blending it into my skin I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and see if that can kind of make it better oh and I just dropped it all right so with the beauty blender it looks much much better actually blending it into the skin coverage wise I definitely think it's more like light to medium you know buildable because um, you can definitely see a difference between this side and this side so again here's my face without any foundation on and here it is with foundation on and I think you know it doesn't look bad so let's just go ahead and finish the face all right moving on to concealer I picked up the coordinating cushion concealer which I've never had a cushion concealer before and I decided to go with the shade 20 W so a little bit lighter because I thought maybe it'd be good for under eye concealing so We'll see. Alright, so this is what this product looks like. And I'm just going to take it with my finger. Oh, it's very cushiony. Like super, super soft. And I'm just going to tap it under my eyes. I like the color. So I gotta say, that actually looks really, really good. It's super, super lightweight, but it definitely brightened, as you can tell from like one eye to the other. This one is much, much brighter. Looking up close, I can definitely tell under my eyes, it looks a little dry, which is kind of strange because it's such a lightweight concealer, but it does look a little dry under there. But for spot concealing, it did a really good job because it covered everything I needed to be covered, but it's not like heavy or cakey looking. So I think this might be best for spot concealing, not so much under eye concealing, but not bad. Now we're going to set the face using the HD Translucent Setting Powder. They also had a few color correcting powders, but I decided just to go with this one because I prefer translucent powders. I feel like it's most you know universal, obviously. So it comes with a little puff. You don't get too terribly much in this packaging because I know with like my Flower Beauty one or with the like Airspun one, you get a ton of powder. But this one, it's a little like skimpy. Alright, so I'm just going to tap off a little bit into the lid. Okay, <laughs> done with that. So this powder is definitely very lightweight 
and feeling it between my fingers it feels very very smoothing which I like and then on the skin I don't think it looks bad I don't know if it's making me look HD though all right moving on to eyes I'm going to be first using their prep up eyeshadow primer and I'm super super picky when it comes to eyeshadow primers because odds are they're not gonna work for me which I know is so negative of me to say but a lot of them just don't so we are going to give this one a chance so I'm just going to apply it looks like it has a bit of a tint which isn't a bad thing and for eyeshadows I picked up their classic romance eyeshadow palette and I gotta say I don't really like the packaging on this just because you can't really see the colors um, so this was again another Jesus take the wheel moment and hope we pick something pretty so this is what the palette looks like. It comes with nine colors, and they're very, very small pans, but honestly, for someone like me, I don't really go through eyeshadow all that quickly, so I'm okay with that. Um, but this is definitely a very cool tone eyeshadow palette. First thing I'm going to do is take this creamy shade right in the middle, and I just put this all over my lid as kind of like a base, so everything on top of it can blend out really, really well. So now I'm going to go in with the shade right beside it, which is kind of like a matte... I don't know, taupey color. I'm just going to put this into the crease. Um, this color definitely has a lot of fallout, so just be wary of that. Ooh. It's definitely pigmented, though. It's way more purple when you put it on the skin, which isn't really what I was expecting, but we will roll with it. It looks like I have a bruise on my eye or something. Like, this color... It looks just so much more purple in like the actual eye. Now I'm gonna try and like neutral it out a bit using this matte like light brown shade right here and try and like, I don't know, salvage this. I'm gonna take the shade right here which is kind of like a silvery taupe and honestly it looks very similar to this shade over here. Like these two look basically the same. Alright, so that shimmer shade was very pretty, went on super creamy, and I really like that. So now we're going to move on to this brown matte shade right here that is a little bit deeper. I'm just going to use this to deepen up the outer corner. Honestly, this is turning into a prom makeup look, and I did not mean for it to. I literally have to go to, like, Aldi's today and do some grocery shopping, and I'm going to look like I'm going to prom. Now I'm going to go back in with this creamy shade and try and use it kind of as an eraser shade and kind of diffuse what's going on out here because that's not looking cute. And now I just want to add, like, a pop of shimmer, so I'm going to take the shade right here, and I'm just going to take it with my finger and just put it right in the center of the lid. And for under the brow bone, I'm going to take a little bit of the white shade, put it right underneath the arch. For my inner corner, I'm going to go back in with the shimmery, like, champagne-y kind of shade in this palette that we used in the center of the lid, and I'm just going to pop that on the inner corners to kind of brighten things up. And for the bottom lash line, I think we're going to go back in with this, like, taupey but like actually like purple mauve shade and I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this but I think it might work maybe so I ended up not getting a liner from the brand just because I'm like die hard for my tattoo liner from Kat Von D and I just went ahead and put on a little bit of that just because I feel like with this you know prom inspired makeup look you need a little bit of liquid liner so moving on to mascara, I picked up their Volume and Length Mascara. It claims to have zero clumps at length and volume, and it's supposed to be smudge-proof. So we'll see about that. Um, I think they also had one more mascara that was waterproof, but I don't usually go for waterproof mascaras, so I just got this one. This is what the wand looks like. It looks pretty standard, honestly. Y'all, this stuff is fantastic. So I'm also going to put it on my bottom lashes just to see if it really is smudge proof. I mean, look at the difference between like no mascara eye and mascara eye. Like, come on. So that's what the mascara looks like all complete and I really like this stuff. Hopefully it doesn't smudge or flake, 
but so far, so good. All right, moving on to eyebrows. So I picked up their brow mascara. It's a tinted brow gel. I'm not sure if I need to fill in my brows or not. Like, I don't know if this is like a fiber product. It definitely is not. It is just like tinted gel. So I'm gonna quickly fill in my brows cause you know, we have a lot going on. All right, that's done. So now let's go in with the brow mascara. And just so you know, I got the shade light brown, but they had all sorts of different hair colors and then they also had a clear. Um, so first things first, it's kind of weird. The wand on this is awfully like big. So I don't know if that's gonna get all over my face or not. We'll see. Yeah, definitely. Uh got all over my face but it does feel like it's drying down pretty quickly and like there's a pretty strong hold potentially which is what i look for in a brow gel so fingers crossed so i didn't pick up a bronzer from them so i just went and had a bronze using my benefit hula which is like my favorite at the moment and then for blush they just had a bunch of like little trios so i picked up this one that's in the shade Demure is what it looks like on the inside and I do really like these colors. It's 100% matte and they're very very neutral So I think I'm going to use this one to kind of like contour ish and then use like a mixture of these two Maybe just to put on the apples of the cheeks. I don't know. We're just making it up as we go That's pigmented You know, I'm seriously using the lightest hand this is like crazy. I'm just gonna go blend that out a little bit. So now using a different brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix these two, the two lightest, and pop it on the apples of my cheeks. It still definitely looks a little crazy. I'm trying to like blend it out as much as I can, but I mean, that's a lot of blush. Next thing we're using is their Strobe Lights Cream Highlighter. I have the shade Radiant, and it looks like a pearl, which is pretty. And I'm just going to use this, like, on my finger. Ew, it's really greasy. Is this supposed to be greasy? Like, ooh. That's definitely an intense highlighter. Um, I just can't get over how, like, greasy it feels. And you definitely need to blend it out with a sponge because it just was not blending into the skin with my finger. Now for lips, they had a lot of different lip products, but this one seemed the most interesting to me. This is their lip powder, and this is supposed to be a liquid matte powder, which makes no sense because how can something be a liquid powder? Like, doesn't make any sense to me, but we're going to try it, and I got the shade Infamous. So this is definitely just a liquid lipstick. The formula is very thin. It's a little streaky um, and it feels just not conditioning at all. So I'm afraid it's going to be super, super drying on the lips. And I can already tell it's kind of starting to cling on to my little lip lines, which isn't very cute. But let's let this dry. Well, while that's doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and use their Refresh Hydrating Setting Spray. And this is supposed to be like a dewy setting spray. And they also had a matte one in case you are an oily skinned gal. And let's see first how this sprayer is. Ooh. You know, that's not bad, actually. And it smells good, which I like. So here we go. felt nice. Now back to the lips. I just gave myself a kiss on the hand and there's definitely still some transfer. I don't know and it does honestly kind of look powdery. Like it looks very dry and it's honestly not that comfortable. It feels dry and sticky all at the same time. Kind of bizarre but. Alright so that is my full face done and as of right now the three products I am the most impressed with is first the lengthening and volumizing mascara. The stuff I'm really really excited to see how it performs. I really like their smooth glow hydrating face primer. This feels very nice. And I also am impressed with the refresh hydrating setting spray. Um, everything else I'm still kind of on the fence about. Um, the eyeshadows are okay but I mean they were definitely pigmented so you can't knock them too much. And with the face products I really just want to see how they wear. And then this lipstick 
traffic? I'm not quite sure about it yet, but we'll see. It is currently 11.54 in the morning, and I have things to do today. I need to clean, I need to film another video, I need to go to Aldi's. Got a big day ahead of me. So I'll check back in with you guys at the end of the day to see how everything wore and performed and my final thought. Fingers crossed I don't look crazy by the end of this video. Hey y'all, so I'm back for my final check-in. It's the end of the day, and I've been wearing this makeup for about eight hours now, and I'm ready to take it off because my skin is just ready to breathe. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with how the majority of the things have worn. Starting with the eyeshadow primer, I'm looking at my eyeshadow right now. Everything's still in place and it's vibrant and there's no creasing. And I'm telling you guys, I have super oily crease prone eyelids. So if a primer works on me, you know it's good stuff. So yeah, this prep up eyeshadow primer, good stuff. As for the eyeshadows themselves, I thought they were good. I like the shimmer shades. The mattes were definitely very intense. Um, they're a little dry for my liking, just like the teeny tiny bit dry, but that's just me being picky. But all in all, I thought they were pretty good, and I think for the price, you do get a good variety of shades. And I want to say they have, like, five or six different little... Um, palette so you really can find like the perfect one for you but man you do got to be careful with the shade right here because it does not look like this on the eye I'm telling you it does not the next thing I'm super super impressed with is the volume and length mascara y'all this stuff has not smudged or budged it is amazing and I did put it through the ultimate test because for dinner I was making pasta it was actually really really good it's a like creamy tomato spinach pasta I'll link the recipe down below I got it from Pinterest it's delish and for the recipe you're supposed to chop up onion and my eyes are so sensitive so whenever I chop up onions I just start like crying and I always have to like look away and look there and the dog gets concerned because I'm like crying um, but this stuff didn't smear or flake or anything and it's just stayed put it's even held my curl pretty well so I'm very very impressed with this and the other two things I really like from this line is first the Refresh Hydrating Setting Spray. I just thought this was super nice and refreshing when you put it on the skin. I am going to have to use it with different foundations to see really if it does like lock your you know face in place. But I think the spray is really nice. It's nice and fine. And it just feels cooling on the skin. So, so far I like this. And then I'm also really liking their Smooth Glow Hydrating Foundation Primer. Again, it reminds me a lot of the Too Faced Hangover RX, but with a slightly different scent, but it just has the same like hydrating conditioning feel so I really like those two. Now moving on to the things I'm not super crazy about. The first one is the cushion foundation. This stuff I don't know I just felt like it had never really sat on my skin super crazy well. And even looking at it now I can definitely see where it's like clinging on to dry patches and where it's settling into some fine lines and it's just not like the best I've ever used, especially from the drugstore. Um, if you're looking for a good drugstore cushion foundation, I would go with the um, L'Oreal cushion one. That one's really, really nice. And even the one from Maybelline's also pretty good too, but the L'Oreal one's my personal favorite. I don't know. I'm just not crazy impressed by it. Next thing I'm not super impressed by is their lip powder. This is basically just a liquid lipstick, but when it's drying down, it kind of dries to like a powder finish. I noticed after a few like hours of wearing it and you know talking and stuff, it just would be like powdery, which is like weird. It's not super super drying on the lips, but it just feels like powdery and uncomfortable. But I will say though, for a liquid lipstick, it did held up pretty well. Again, I just ate pasta literally five minutes ago. It wasn't super greasy or anything, but you know when you eat stuff like that, usually your liquid lipstick does not stay around. So this one did like kind of sort of stay. But again, there's just so many better options out there, even at the drugstore. So, mm. and then the thing I liked the least is their strobe lights face highlighting little illuminizer stick thing i just feel like it makes me look so greasy and it makes me feel really greasy and even just like feeling it it just feels greasy and gross and i don't know maybe that's the whole like strobing idea and i'm just not on board with it but i just think it makes me look greasy you know? Now as for the rest of the products I used, I'm kind of, I don't want to say indifferent, but like they're okay. They work, but they're not like, wow, you need to go get this now. So the setting powder is fine. Um, the concealer is all right. The blush palette's okay. It's very, very intense when you put it on at first, but as you can tell, over time it does kind of fade away. And then the brow mascara is all right. Um, it definitely did hold my brows in place. Is it the strongest hold I've ever had? No. But, I mean, it got the job done, so. So if you were looking to pick up a few things from this line, what I would recommend is their setting spray, their smooth glow foundation primer, 
their eyeshadow primer, and then also their mascara. I think the mascara is number one for me right now because it's super, super good. All right, y'all, so that's everything for today's video. If you guys liked it, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And in the comments down below, let me know if you've tried anything from this brand and what you think about it, because who knows, maybe I just didn't pick up the right things and I'm missing out on something totally amazing. But yeah, I guess that's everything for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.